the visual part of your website, the coding that brings that design forward in the WordPress space is called a theme. There are thousands, actually tens of thousands, maybe more, free themes readily available. You download them from wordpress.org, one click install, you're off and running. This is great, particularly if you're throwing together a blog. There's also commercially available themes. The largest marketplace is ThemeForest, where you can buy really nice, snazzy themes for anywhere from 15 to 50, 60 bucks. This seems really great, and for the do-it-yourselfer, it really can be. They're a very fast way to get from that one-click install to throwing your content into it, and there you go. You've got a pretty good-looking website right out of the gate. The downside of these, however, is when you're, you're building a business website, particularly one that you want to maintain over the long term, commercial themes, generally speaking, have some pretty major drawbacks. They are, it's common because they're marketable that they, they just pack them full of features. And from a technical standpoint, we call that bloat. It's more stuff than you're ever going to use and you're driving around you know, your website with all this extra weight, which brings with it performance problems. And when you run updates, that's just a lot of pieces that, if you're, especially if you're not using them, there's a lot of opportunity for conflict. Furthermore, and I've discussed this in another video in our development process series talking about layout and design, when you take that theme off the shelf, which looks stellar in the demo because they designed it that way, and then you take your content and shove it into that theme, it has a tendency to come out a little lumpy and, and not looking as slick as that demo did, and it can be a little disappointing. Finally, the, the really big business case downside for commercial themes is that the way the marketplace is set up right now, they're usually a low dollar one-time purchase. They're starting to make a transition toward really low dollar. The most recent one I saw was eight bucks for a year of support. And the fact of the matter is the way the market's configured right now, there isn't a lot of incentive for those theme developers to maintain that theme long-term. So in a lot of cases, unfortunately, you'll buy a theme, 40 bucks off the shelf, get installed, get it running, but then a year, two years down the line, there's no longer updates for it. And it's becoming a security risk and can, can just be problematic for you in the long term. So the approach that we take at Copperleaf Creative is that we use a theme framework. So there's a number of these available in the WordPress space and elsewhere. We happen to use the Genesis Framework by Studio Press. It's one of the oldest theming frameworks in the WordPress environment. And what it does is allow us to start from a blank piece of paper, but not have to make paper. So we have you know, headers and sidebars and footers, and, and we can easily configure widget areas and, and get things running really fast while we're still effectively starting from a white design and can make that design truly custom to your business without having to do every last thing totally from scratch. The other um, analogy, metaphor, grammarians, check me on that one, that I think works really well is cooking. So you say, I made this meal from scratch. Okay, yeah, you did. Um, but where do those ingredients come from? Did you make the ketchup? Did you grow the tomatoes that went into the ketchup along with distilling the vinegar? And you take my point. There's varying degrees between crack open a box of Kraft mac and cheese from scratch cooking and 100% independent self-subsistence farming. And if you, if you consider those and translate that real quick, very fast and easy and convenient, right down the middle of customized, takes a little while longer, but it's worth it, versus time intensive, takes up all your time and that's all you can do. So we look right down that middle streak, looking for the framework that allows us to mix and match our custom ingredients on the fly, make the best unique product without starting too far upstream or conversely taking something out of the box and going, here, you get mac and cheese.